Hi guys, welcome to another mass tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at completing the square. Now, most of you will be familiar with this type of equation, and this is what is known as a triromial or a quadratic. Now, in the exam, you could be asked to write these equations in the form of x plus a to a bracket squared plus b. And this is known as completing the square. Now, we'll have a look at each of these examples and how to tackle each of them individually. Part C is a little different, and that is the kind of question that you could expect in the exam. So, if we look at part A to begin with, the equation was x squared plus 4x plus 3. Now, when we deal with these equations, what we what we need to look at is the terms with the x's first. So we'll forget about the 3 of the now. Now, all we have to do is you divide both terms by x, and then you half the coefficient here. So if I rewrite this as x squared plus 4x, now at the side here I'm going to say divide both sides by x and that will give me a new equation of x plus 4. Now I have to multiply this by 0 0.5 or just half the number. So the equation will then become x plus 2 to the power 2. Okay? Now that is the hard part done. And what we need to do from here is we have our value of a, that is a. However, we're still missing the value of b. So in order for us to find the value of b, what we have to do is break this bracket again because we have a bracket to the power 2. So if we break this again using FOIL, which we have another video, there'll be a link in the description below on how to solve brackets using FOIL. So we have x plus 2 times x plus 2, which is going to give us x squared plus 4x plus 4, okay? And what you should notice is this part is the exact same as what we started with. If you get that the same, then you've pretty much done it correctly. So for the value of b, b equals, now, it was, I'll do this in blue. The value of b is basically comparing the original number, which is the 3, and taking it away from the new number, which we get, which is 4. So it's the difference between these two values. So b equals, now it's going to be 3, take away 4. So b equals minus 1, because it was the original value, which was the 3, take away the new value, which was the 4. So you take away 4, is minus 1. Now, a lot of people in the exam would leave it like that. You cannot do that. You must write it in the form that it asks. So, underneath all your working, at the bottom, you can then write x plus 2 to the bracket squared minus 1 equals 0. And that is your final answer. Now for part b, the equation was x squared minus 8x plus 9. Now the process is exactly the same. 
you concentrate on the terms only with the x's first, okay? Now I'll go through this one a little bit faster, but if you want, pause the video, try it yourself, and then compare your answer and see if you get the same as me. So we isolate these two terms, so we get x squared minus 8x. Now, again, divide both sides by x, so we end up with x minus 8. Now, we have to half this value. So, your bracket becomes x minus 4 squared. Now, again, we have the value of a. That's in the bag. Now, we need the value of b, which means we have to break this bracket using foil. So, by breaking the bracket, you have the x minus 4 times x minus 4. So, we use FOIL, we get x squared minus 8x plus 16. Now, the value of b, if you can remember, was the original value, which would be the plus 9, and it's minus the new value, which was plus 16. So it's 9 take away 16, which in this case gives you minus 7. So your final answer then becomes x minus 4 squared minus 7. just like that. Now, for part C, part C is a little bit more involved in that instead of us having an x squared, we now have 2x squared. So we have the 2x squared plus 8 plus 1. Now, this came up in the National 5 exam a few years ago and it would have caught a lot of people out because the process is the same. However, before we start with the dividing by x and stuff, we need to get the equation in the correct format. And to do this, we still need to isolate these. Okay, so we'll take these down and we'll get 2x squared plus 8x. Okay, just make that be plus. Now, before we start, we need to get rid of this 2. So, we can factorise the 2 out and get rid of it. So, we take the 2 out and we get x squared plus 4x, just like that. Now, we can divide both sides by x. So, the 2 stays there, 2 doesn't change. So then we get the x plus 4, and then we have to times this by a half. So your final answer for this section is 2x plus 2 to the power 2. Okay? Now again, the value of b must be found by breaking this bracket. I'm going to keep the 2 here just now, so I'll write that, and then it's going to be x plus 2, x plus 2. Now, keeping the 2 there, we end up with x squared plus 4x plus 4. Now, we cannot compare just now the original value with the new value because this is all been taken down by a factor of 2 in comparison to the original equation. So we need to multiply all of this by 2 so that we can then compare the new value. Okay, So by breaking that bracket we get 2x squared plus 8x plus 8. Now the value of b 
can be found I'll write up here so the value of B is the original value which was plus 1 minus the new value which is plus 8 so the value of B becomes minus 7 so if we rewrite this as your final answer now the 2 will remain outside the bracket because this is your this is the value of a here so it's this section that we need this bit is just to find the value of b this is your final answer for the value of a so it's 2 bracket x plus 2 squared minus 7 and that is your final value so just to recap you can be asked to factorize these as a triromial you could be asked to use the quadratic formula to uh, solve these problems or you could be asked to put these in the form of the x plus a squared plus b this is very helpful for when you come to do turning points as the a value is the x value of the turning point and the b is the y value of the turning point it just makes life a wee bit easier thanks for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and leave any comments below and we'll see you in the next video Thank you.